Welcome to the Master Lab Studio. My name is Patrick with the support team at Prototech Engineering. Today we're going to take a look at 3D OptiRough in Mastercam 2022. Did you know that in Mastercam 2022, if you are a mill or a router customer that didn't have this capability, now you do have it with 2022 without any additional costs. Now in this example here, I have a 2D part. Even though OptiRough is in a 3D toolpath or considered a 3D toolpath, 2D parts like this are a great example of what you can do with that toolpath. Also with this part, we got to team up with the Mugi High Performance Tools and Miltronics Machinery to actually do a live cut on site at Miltronics USA. So let's go ahead and take a look at my part on the screen and see how we can program this to possibly optimize your Mastercam experience. On the screen here, I have a vise and I have my part on there. Now I already pre-prepped this file with a uh, wireframe bounding box around my part. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my levels to clean this up a little bit. And levels can be an important thing here um, to organize your file to be able to turn different features on and off. I really don't wanna see my Kurt Vice on here anymore and it makes it that much easier to be able to program this. I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, 3D OptiRough toolpath and you'll find that up in the toolpaths menu and it's called OptiRough. I'm gonna go ahead and left click on OptiRough and it's gonna pop me right into that toolpath like Mastercam toolpaths do. The first page that pops up is going to be machining geometry. Machining geometry is going to be anything that you want to cut. So in this case, I'm going to select my whole part and I'm going to end selection. Next one will be toolpath control. Now, Mastercam right now doesn't really know what you want to do with that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the outside uh, wireframe chain and that's going to result in my boundary so Mastercam knows where to come from. So uh, right next to boundary chains, we have a white arrow. I'm gonna go ahead into there and it'll get us into our chain manager. I'm gonna go ahead and chain all the way around my rectangle. Now in this case here, the rectangle did define my stop also. And you have strategies in here uh, from outside or a stay inside strategy. A from outside strategy would be a tool starting outside working in. An inside strategy would be a pocket suck type of situation there. So I'll be coming from the outside. I'm going to go ahead and grab my tool. And in this case here, uh, to rough the outside out, uh, we used an Imugi uh, 12 millimeter end mill made for P20 stainless steel. Now, we cut P20 in this case to show you what you can do with an OptiRough tool path with the correct tools, the correct tool holders, and a good machine that can handle these type of cuts. In our cut parameters page, um, your step over distance is gonna be how wide of a cut are you going to take. In this case, we're at 10%. And our step down and step up values are the same, you'll notice here. Now, if you are new at OptiRough, a little trick here is if your step downs are the same as your step ups, you will get a cut on every one of them flats on that part. So that's why this is kind of a one hit wonder for a tool path. You don't need to now create 10 different tool paths for 10 different Z depths. We can just go right at the part and do it all in OptiRough. One other note here, um, arc filter tolerance. Now, depending on your machine that you are cutting with, um, in a mid-range machine, you are going to want to filter this. This will be a very important page in Mastercam. Now, we recommend a one-third ratio in here, 35-65, and a total tolerance uh, not exceeding your tolerance of your part. So this is going to be a very important page here. And one other note on this before I calculate this out, um, the machine we cut this on was a TRM3016 Miltronics. So this is a tool room mill. Um, and it's, it doesn't have a ton of horsepower, but around $60,000 for a machine, um, it cut this part great in P20 stainless. So depending on your machines is dependent on what you're gonna get for feeds and speeds. So let's keep that into account when we watch our live video that will be coming up here shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and calculate this tool path. And as this is calculating, let's go ahead and break away and check out some of that live cut that we did at Miltronics with the Mimugi High Performance Tools. Today we're on site at Miltronics. We teamed up with the Mimugi Tools and Miltronics to do a cut in P20 stainless steel. 
Um, the machine we're cutting this in is a TRM3016 tool room mill um, from Miltronics, and it has about 15 horsepower. Um, this machine is quite a bargain to buy at around $60,000, and you'll see the capabilities that we did with it with this cut in P20. Um, what we used is Mastercam's dynamic OptiRough. So with OptiRough, now you can take a part with multiple Z pocket heights or levels and do it all in one tool path in very little time and get a very efficient, high performance tool path. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results we got in the machine. Pretty impressive results we've seen while testing at Miltronics when we partnered up with the Moogie High Performance Tooling and utilized our Mastercam OptiRough tool path in Mastercam 2022. So back at your shop, if you have a high horsepower machine, a lower horsepower machine, you can still utilize this OptiRough tool path to gain the most out of your speeds and feeds and save you time and time equals money in machining. So I definitely hope you can go back and utilize that. And we always thank you for watching our Master Lab videos and check back to our YouTube channel as we're adding them constantly. And thank you.